cheers me to see you alive. Word, what does it mean when all you've come to know? Oh, uh, let's go and lift curses. No, it's no longer. I will always have my healing, I suppose. But what shall become of the telling? Stay well. Cool, so we have temporary curse immunity. Loading, loading. All right. And now... Let's get the fuck up on, on out of here. So that's cool. I guess we're now the queen. Um... All right, where do we need to go next? Uh, if we look at our quest... So, Rite of Passage. Game? Why no circle? Has told me that the uh, Premos I'm seeking is the leader of her people. If I am to meet the Premos, I must first deal with a violent Jotun warlord, Kathunk. I should meet with uh, Sandra Scout Ramses and learn what I can do with the warlord. Well, where is it? Try. Let me try saying it active again. Apparently the quest's broken. Oh no, oh no, it's over here. Right, this is the Teeth of Naros one. Okay. I was like, wait a second. Okay, and that one needs us to go there. That one- oh, fuck no. That one- oh, fuck no. That one- eh, I can't be bothered. Too much work. That one... Huh? Huh? What? Let me read the description. Uh, Brother Holt has asked I, uh, find out what happened to his friend. Oh yeah, we need to go into Spitrock Depths. Oh, what the hell, let's go into Spitrock Depths and try and look for this guy. Yeah, what the hell. No, no, no. There we go. Rip this mountain troll a new ass! Rip him a new butthole! His butthole will be screaming! Okay, apparently his face hole will be screaming because we stabbed his face. Well, that works. Into the depths we go! Where we shall return, nobody knows! Onward! For victory and glory and yada 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 yada, some other stuff. Da da dun dun! Da 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 dun! Da 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 dun! Dun dun da dun! All right, what's over here? Hello. Oh, sweet, a chest. Got some war boots that are not that great. Um, Brother Pad uh, Pedrick has perished while on his personal exploration uh, quest of Split Rock's depths. On his body is a tattered journal detailing what happened. Take the journal. So, what exactly happened to this guy? Let's go ahead and take a look. Um... It's so it's his travel notes. Did I miss it? I must have missed it. Uh, there it is. Travel notes. Day eight. Split rock depths. Feels like a winding maze as I travel deeper into the cave. I have been attacked a few times already, but was able to narrowly escape. Daily. Uh, day sixteen. I feel that I am closer to finding the hidden exit. I terribly miss my companions from Saint Eldrick's. I wonder if I made the right choice doing this. 
Day one, I am cold and beginning to run low on supplies. I will not return until I have found the treasure I seek. I will show Brother Halt he can be proud of me. And my search was not in vain. I will make all the pr all the monks so proud. Poor guy. Oh, how I pray my ears deceive me then. <sighs> so it is true. The doubt in the back of my mind that was clawing its way forward is now here upon me. Thank you. Now, now I won't have to wonder any longer. Go in peace, child, and leave me to my prayers. Good day. Oh, hey, there's one of those books we could go grab really fast. Let's go do that. Oh, apparently we missed one, which is all the way over there. We'd have to go, like, die in hell? Not yet. We'll do that in a minute. We'll go back. We'll go ahead and grab these books. And then we will finally maybe move on and do main quest stuff. God, we have not gotten a main quest done today. Got way too sidetracked this time. Then again, when do we not? That's the, that's a better question to ask. When do we not get sidetracked so much? The Varm Lodge. <laughs> oh, apparently they have side quests here. Well, it's always nice to see a passerby. You're the traveler I'm waiting for, eh? Shall we get to business? The Vorms know talent when they see it. I practically run this lodge for them. Oh, and while I'm thinking of it, stay away from the star camp up the road if you can. Run by the travelers. Bunch of damn thieves. Lost nearly everything while dicing to them. Our house is leasing me this shirt for a third of my wages. And it's got holes in it. Yeah, I'm starting to think I don't want to continue this quest. Listen people tell you that travelers only value the freedom to do what they wish. They also value what's in your pocket, and whatever else they can take from you. And that includes stripping your shirt from your back. Goodbye. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I think we're just going to ignore this quest. There is a, um... How? Hell Gavin is now hosting my stream. Thank you so much. Yay. I don't think this is going to work. I really don't feel. Loading, loading, loading. I figured it out. Yay! <laughs> Alright, you know what? What if we ignore this quest as well? Yeah, let's just ignore both of these quests because it's too much of a pain in the ass. To be perfectly honest. Welcome. 
Welcome to our haven in the Shi. I am Citric Vaughan. My brother Arhaus and I give assistance to any wayfarer that may need it. Hmm. You look a lot more hearty than the sort we typically get here. You might be able to help me. We've had several visitors from Detir tell us that they were savagely ambushed by brownies. And really brownies? The brownies of the Shi are not that aggressive. They the weakest the enemy of the game. When approached. If there is indeed a group of brownies ambushing travelers, then those monsters need to be taken care of. How weak are these travelers? I'm pretty sure that a five-year-old with a stick could beat these things. We're talking about brownies here, not like giant dragons coming out of the ground. Ah, oh, whatever. We'll... Good. At least it'll be an easy quest. I still have trouble. Mmm, brownies. Brownies are really good. Especially weed brownies are the best. Oh my gosh. If there are indeed a group of brownies attacking people, then you must put a stop to it. Follow the trail to Detir. It is in the southern Shi. Find the brownies, get rid of them. We lost our parents when I was young. And since then, he's always looked out for me. When he went to sea, I followed him. When he settled here, I did the same. It's a barren desert full of greedy miners and vicious bandits. Our house and I did our best to avoid it when we traveled here. And I'd suggest you do the same. My brother hired him, although I don't know why. Whenever there's work to do, Gunnar seems to disappear. We do allow strangers to stay here from time to time, though for a small fee. Would you like to rent a room? Let me know if you change your mind. It can be pretty exhausting out there in the Shi. Me? I don't have much to tell. I followed my brother to sea after our parents died. I enjoyed being on the ship. There was a solace there. But the ports? I cared little for the crowds. I know our house misses the ocean. But I love the solitude of the forest. A dangerous place to be sure. But I find its dark depths peaceful. The solitude, a welcome change over the bustling ports of Rathia. But it's not without its lighter side. Just the other day, I saw our house go sprinting by with a brownie attached firmly to his ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh, that's hilarious. Oh, my God. Welcome to our lodge. I have a question. Why is everyone's name a different color? I don't know. Luca Soren, the poor soul in the next room. She did not fare so well. The Vorms have always been traders. I took to the sea early in my life. I always knew I was going to captain my own ship. But fate has its way with you at times. After Rathir, I needed to get as far away from the sea as I could. I do miss the ocean. I've come to realize that there are other joys in life. Gunnar showed up one day begging for help. Said he was a poor miner from Tatir who lost his job when his mine shut down. Not sure I believe him, though. Hired him more out of pity than anything. Not sure he can actually do anything useful. But she managed to tell me her name before passing out. That and uh, a threat had attacked her. I tried to help her as best I could. Even gave her my room to recover in. But nothing has helped. I'm afraid it's only a matter of time. What is my favorite cake? Um, gosh, I like a lot of cake. Cheesecake, definitely cheesecake. Like a strawberry cheesecake. Mmm, that's so good. The great Dockelfar city in eastern Adafel. A great port with many a profit to be found. Must have sailed in and out of there more than any other port in the continent. But war has changed, Rathir. They're not as friendly as they used to be. My younger brother. After I went to sea, he, he couldn't wait to join me. My parents wouldn't let him. Said he was too young. But after they died, the sea was the only place for him to go. After the trouble in Rathir, I told him he didn't have to come with me. But he insisted that family stick together. This forest has been trying to kill me ever since we got here. It's not Boggart springing out of the bushes, it's Brownies trying to take a bite out of my ass. <laughs> I tell you, I much prefer the ocean. So apparently the Brownies have an ass fetish. 
Oh god. She was attacked by a thresh. Normally a fatal encounter in and of itself. I'm guessing that that sparked. I'm guessing that the whole brownies have a have an ass fetish. I'm betting you there's a lot of Kingdoms of Alamar fan fiction out there. I I'd bet you a dollar. If I looked it up on my like DeviantArt right now, there'd be some brownies. God damn it. God damn it. I just know that's happened already. I do not have enough faith in the internet to not know that that would happen. I tried, but the forest is not like the sea. Mine is strawberry. I love strawberry. Anything strawberry, instant lil space. That cute. You will. Well, if you manage to bring me one, I'll reward you with what I can. I've heard that seer stalk grow near flowing, misting water, so you might try following the river north. I thought I heard the roar of waterfalls when I once wandered up there. They didn't go far enough to find out. The she, you know. The seer stalk is supposed to grow near flowing, misting water. Follow the river to the northern she. I'm sure I've heard waterfalls in the distance. I haven't seen one myself. But I've heard they're dangerous things. Demented trees with branches sharp as razors. Normally they're surrounded by boggarts. So if you see any of those, keep your eyes open. The Thresh may not be far behind. I shall see you later. Alright then, and just like that, we are ready to pursue even more side quests. Damn it! Damn it! Ah! Hunt down the brownies. Uh, all the way over the- oh, piss off. Okay. Uh, let's just con- let's continue on with the main class for right now. Which is gonna be, um, is it this one? Yeah, it's this one that's the actual, like, legit main class. Let's go off on that adventure. Hello, loot. Do not mind if I do. Harvesting, harvesting, harvest, harvest, harvest. Ding! Go, my precious face tank, go! Yes, everything is fried like the bacon eat bacon -y bit. We got a bunch of gold! Yay! So much glorious gold. Now to travel across this river. Eh? Okay. Okay, that was weird. Oh, uh, what the bedickens is all of this? Um, it's the uh, act. It's kind of cool. Like, if we can get that into a set, it's actually a little bit better than what I currently have. So it is worth equipping. Oh gosh, that looks. Well, we look more queenly now. Like, we definitely look a bit more queenly. Another mortal, but not like the others. You are welcome here. Nirilim has been waiting. What on earth is- what on earth are these things? They, uh, they almost look like Echo Stones? Nirilim was a sapling long ago. When Dalentarth was a barren She bested Strang in combat fair. Finian's cycles kept. 
The exploits of this maiden's role, a burdensome and heavy toll. She lived among the mortal clans and bargained with their kind. Come closer, little curiosity. Of the brilliant fighter, Mir. Wait, what? Okay, so my daddy can get uh, literally the most jealous I've ever seen. Because we were here at Walmart earlier, and the cashier called me cute. Daddy frowned, then grabbed my ass and said mine. That sounds really plushy! Oh my goodness! Dabu! The curious one seeks a way to the Fey, but it has found its way to the boughs of the world tree instead. Rest, Quickling, and I may study you. Look around you, and I am all that you can see. My roots spread across Dalantarth. My leaves read the winds from Frostbrine Coast to Alabastra. My family and I circle this world. We were saplings when your kind emerged from the dark. And we will grow with you until this world burns once again. My roots spread wide and deep, and I have heard what brought you here. But I cannot see where you go hence. The time of the Fey is passing. I must shelter them in their twilight and protect them from the corruption that spreads in their kin to the east. The gardens of fate are clear to me, and all that ever shall be are visible in its blooms. Issa's end has always been certain. Buried beneath Prismere blades, I can only hold back the tide. But you, perhaps you can change the currents. Where you tread, you mark all you touch. Before I would help you, I must know. Will you be a kind gardener? Or a careless reaper? Like all quicklings, you are eager to act. I would rather see the method of your action. A tribe of trolls has been corrupted with Prismir. Their matriarch, Nash, has united the clans in the first step on the path of Dalantarth's demise. You can change this fate, but to what? In doing so, you may awaken a more dangerous threat. Like your ally, Aelin Shear. What do you know about her? She walks a dark and tangled path. A path you once walked together before you died. But your path is your own now. Defeat Nash, remove the taint of Prismere. Then I shall see who you are, if not who you will become. The troll matriarch and her brood await at Haxi. Their corruption burns my roots and threatens our future. Aelin Shear is a mystery and a simplicity. She is focused in a way few quicklings are. Her dedication is true, but I do not know the cause. Together you have walked dark paths beneath my boughs. You knew one another before your death, or thought you knew each other. Like the sun in the sky, they knew me when I was a sapling, and they will know me when I rot. But they will never know change nor how to save themselves from their patterns. Only one Fey has ever truly changed, 
and he now leads an army to destroy your kind. The fates of quicklings are very simple. Growing, consuming, expanding, dying. And always rushing predictably along your paths. Well, we finally had some main story progress. Decide your own direction. But does that mean you will choose anything different? The troll matriarch. Prismir has corrupted her, making her cruel, cunning, and far more ambitious than her brethren. She bears the marks of the Tuatha, and she shares their murderous intent. I am as world trees have ever been since the dawn of time. I watch, I understand, and I remember. To creatures of flesh like yourself, Prismir is a powerful tool to harness magic. But to creatures of pure magic, like Tuatha or trolls, Prismir is so much more. To them, it is a curse, a blessing, and a rapture all in one. It drives them and consumes them. And to the weak-willed, it corrupts them utterly. I can no longer ignore the quicklings like your kind, who rush through the world, ever anxious, ever eager, ever evolving, but never changing. Fools who hack at my roots and burn, and sometimes sages who hang from my branches and learn. The last great Fey city, at once the birth of their dream, the throne of their great realm, and the deathbed of their kind. <coughs> In thanks to Magic Orb. Yep. My bows stand vigil over their city in their twilight. Only by my leave may visitors see them in their weakness. Well, this got a bit weird. So we need to defeat Nar. Means we've got to fast travel all the way over here. All right. Do the ballads library, then we will go. What? 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 You missed it, but basically his body did some weird things. Some weird ragdoll physics? Not even ragdoll physics, just phase warping corpse. Okay. Which I never thought would be a sense I'd have to utter. But, you know, welcome to video games, I suppose. Wines, I want my passy, but daddy won't give it back. He's that's super mean. What? Hello, it's another trowel. Trowel, la 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 la. Oh, uh, we got a crap buckler. Uh, crap shoes, and some other McGobbins. Well, let's walk in. I thought I'd find you here. 
What are you doing here? Tree sent me. He has roots and branches all through the forest. But I was so hoping you'd be enough of a distraction for me to pass unnoticed. He said we should walk this path together. Thought I could help you, or maybe that you could help me. That old coward. He may have lived a hundred heroic lives, but he's lost the moment he faces something truly new, pathetic. Nirolen is the oldest living mortal. He remembers the time before even the Fae called these lands home. You should see how they cherish him. He rarely grants an audience to visitors. His tenders say he knows the future as well as the past. It makes him very particular about what he says. We've known for a long time that Prismere Crystals allow us to store and focus magical power. The gnomes use it in their grander inventions, when they can get it. But we have no idea how Gadflo got a hold of so much of it. It makes us to Arthur the most dangerous army I've ever seen. The gardens of Isa, home of the Summerfay, once spread from the forests of Dalantar, across the plains of Erethel, and even through the deserts of Detir. Between the madness of the war and the spread of man, Alfar, and Gnome, the Summer Fae lose a little more ground every day. A tragedy for them. I've never met Nash. Trolls and Doppelfar rarely invite each other to tea. But if she's matriarch of a clan, you can be sure that she's strong. And if she's so corrupted that Neuralim is nervous about her, then she must pose a bigger threat than most trolls. Let's not keep Nosh waiting. Uh, Greyer Sorcerer's Intelligence increases your whole mana pool. Ooh, cool, an experience booster. Trolls aren't normally this well organized. Even the biggest clans never built dens this deep. So, how did these, um, her kill? Okay. The experience boosters have way too short of a duration, I feel. Like, that is way too short. Like, that's barely enough for, like, one fight. Like, really? Um... I think I prefer what I have, in all honesty. But yeah, that experience booster does not last long enough. Got some cripples. What? Um. Really, game? Uh, you want to see the latest glitch of the day? Huh? Yeah, luckily, though, I can do this. <laughs> hey, good. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, cool. I have enough fate now to do a reckoning. We'll probably save that because we are in a dungeon after all and there might be a boss. In fact, there has been a boss about 90% of the dungeons we've been in. So it's probably a good idea to save the reckoning mode to do some boss ass whoopery. Um, okay, I see where I need to go next. If these trolls ever went on a rampage, they could destroy half of Dalentar. Um... Huh. Must be a hidden item. Must be down below us. Oh well. Uh, do I have my... No, I don't. Let me go in and stop. No more delays. Ice hindrance. Nah, they're not that great. I will add that to the junk pile and take everything else. Um, we did get some cripple spore, which was is always pretty useful. Yeah. Yeah, once again, putting the A button to do too many actions. Because, yeah, I was trying to loop body and random and... Uh, and that's also the talk to NPC button. Looks like the two Alpha have been working here for a long time. If they've come this far in there... How long is this? Thanks, auto targeting. Oh, come on, really? I can kill off that raider. No, me not sleepy. Aww. I'm pretty sure that that's something that someone who is sleepy would do. Hand wraps of the blaze. Meh. Meh. 
Oh, and random Sagecraft altar. Um, before we mess with that, though, meh. I just don't really feel like doing it with seven minutes in, with seven minutes left in the video. Okay, that must be the special you Alright, now is about the time where I get out the reckoning mode. Yeah, we're gonna give you up. Yeah, we're gonna say goodbye. Jam the button so hard. There we go. Lovely. Holy crap, that gave me 10,000 XP. Holy shit. And that is why you save that ability for the fat guy with the most XP ever. Um... Eh. Eh. Nice work. I see you haven't forgotten how to handle yourself in a fight. Still, this is bad. I didn't think the Tawatha would reach this far. At least, not so soon. Obviously, the Tuatha have bigger plans than just killing you. Confusing the trolls with Prismere. Trying to bring the water down, Tom? Neuralim was right to be concerned. Hmm. Aren't I always? But have patience. For now, why not take comfort in knowing that you saved Neuralim and his forest? Go. Up to the tree. I'm sure he'll allow you into Isa. I'll stay here and finish off any remaining to Arthur. Yeah, I don't trust her. You can tell the old mossy log yourself. I'll be tracking down any other to Arthur that may have come this far west. I'll find you again when the time is right. Yeah, she definitely doesn't seem like the most trustworthy of allies. Especially when a thousand-year-old tree, uh, is telling us, do not trust this. Like, I think we have pretty good reasons to, uh, not completely... Oh, hello, treasure. Oh my god, it's the worst crap ever. So crappy! All right, um, so now we just need to go back. Come on. Ah, enemies are nearby, man. No fast travel for you. Um, Frost Elf. Crap, crap, and crap. All kinds of crappy loots. Crappy loot, crappy loot. Alright. Let's go ahead and fast travel. Do 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 do. Turn, and in your wake, Dalantarth blossoms. The flow is rearranged, now and forever. 
Nash's brood is at an end. You have destroyed what was written and made a new fate for Dalantarth. Even your darkest ally walks a lighter path. And yet the Tuatha still spread, marching with Prismir and pain. You have only delayed our doom. I have already given you much. Now you must learn what you have received. Really? 25% chance doesn't work? You must know of course. Thing. The age is changing. Immortals are passing and the future belongs to the young races. If there is a future to be had. Go and stand at the heart of the She. There you will find Issa. And perhaps you will find wisdom as well. Nash and her brood would have spread across Dalantarth and brought the taint of Prismir with them. So it forever was to be, until you set about to stop it. Only the path of your own choosing. Okay, then. Stand at the heart of the She. And if that path includes the gardens of Issa, I shall allow it. May your path be long and evergreen. So we need to meditate in the sheath to get to try and get into Yisa. All right then. Well, I think that'll have to wait until the next one because we are out of time, unfortunately, with the old live stream. So I will see you guys in the next one, everyone. I'm going to go ahead and overwrite my save right now, because God only knows what the autosave system does. Besides, you know, jack off in a corner, stick its thumb up its ass. I'm pretty sure that's the job of the autosave in this game. And then let's go ahead and exit. Oops. Oops, I clicked on wrong thing. Exit the game. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye everyone. Okay, have a lovely day. All right, let's see if there's anyone to host currently. Who can we host? Um Let's go ahead and host a good friend of mine. Do 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 do.